Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. If you are new here, please consider subscribing before you leave. I do a little bit of everything over here, uh, mainly wig reviews and hair content, makeup, fashion hauls, and some home decor sprinkled in there. So if that sounds like something you're into, please subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And shout out to my premiere squad one time for watching this with me and live chatting. And if you would like to be a part of Premier Squad, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on your notifications, you'll be notified every time I do premieres and uploads and stuff like that. We are here with part two of my um, throwback wigs, throwback simple part synthetic wigs um, that are affordable. Video was inspired by one of my subscribers. She was talking about, she has Outre Brigand, which is a synthetic lace frontal and she was kind of, I guess, frustrated because when you have a synthetic frontal, you have to apply it every day. Um, and if you're just going to work, that's gonna be annoying to have to do every day. So she was, so I was telling her, you know, simple part wigs are the way to go. I had crochets for uh, five weeks and that was my first time and I loved having crochets. And then the other day I had to get back to recording some we reviews and they were frontals and I was just like, why do we even do this? This is so irritating. <laughs> so of course I know how to lay my wigs, but it's just, it can be very inconvenient. So I wanted to shine a light on some older wigs that I've tried on my channel and share them with you guys because we are, we love the synthetic frontals and everything, but they can be really annoying to apply on a day to day basis. So. Um, sometimes you just want something easy and with the simple part wigs you don't necessarily have to use any got to be glued and you don't have to worry about your lace looking bad outside because I was rushing the other day and I bought I bought um, Altrace Arlissa and I was rushing in the application and then I had to go somewhere and when I went outside the lace looked crazy so with synthetic frontals you have to take your time simple part wigs you don't have to do all that so today I'm going to be sharing five more easy beginner friendly throwback wigs one of them doesn't have any parting and we'll get into that so let's get into this video okay the first one we're going to start off with is a wig that i reviewed in 2016 it's probably one of my top five most popular reviews i've ever done on my channel and that is it's a wig a coup um and this is in the color p4 27 slash 30 and i love this wig it's very similar to free Tris hania it might be a, just a little bit shorter so this is what she looks like you guys already saw that because i i'll insert like what it looks like fresh out the pack and what i did was i added a dark root to it i'm gonna apply it to my head and see if i need a dark root because i might not all right so we have my wig grip and I want to emphasize um, or reiterate that with these simple part wigs, you're not going to be giving hairline. You're not going to be giving scalp and stuff as far as like the, the hairline goes. So you might need to take out your edges if you have them to make it look more natural. And that's what I did in my last video. But if you, you know, suffer from hair loss, you don't have to do that. You just wear it straight up. Or just go with a synthetic frontal if you want a more natural hairline without pulling out any hair. So let's put on a coup, shall we? And even though I have on a wig grip, it still feels pretty roomy. The lace on this wig was a dark brown lace. And this is uneven, like, it's uneven. So I'm just gonna shift it a little bit and I have my hot comb on deck you can use a hot comb on synthetic wigs you just have to do like a, a lower setting mine goes all the way up to what does it go up to 20 and I'm gonna use 10 so we don't want that top looking puffy This color is beautiful and so is this texture. All right, I'm gonna pull this to the front a little bit and I'm gonna bring out some of my edges. 
because I know I'm not gonna, I want my, the front to look natural. Put a little behind my ear. We still got some humpiness up here. I might have to use my blow dryer. Okay, I really don't need a um, dark root, but I wanna break up some of the chunky highlights just a bit. So I have an old mascara here that I'm gonna just put around the part of space a little bit. Just kind of fade it out. And then I'm gonna wake up the part in space with Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in color 330, Toffee. And I really don't have to gel my edges down because this is a, a coarser kind of texture. This color is so beautiful. Here is a cool, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I mean, I got some thick braids under here, so you might see a little hump action, but this is cute. It's about 10 inches. I think it looks really good with my yellow top, you know? In 2021 I reviewed her back in 2016 and I think this color is so beautiful this is a thicker bob um, of course the length is not gonna make you hot but the texture might but it's so short it's, it's probably worth just trying and picking up I don't know how much this is but I'll probably put all of the prices on the screen for you guys it can't be more than like $35 I don't think she is still cute. Valentino. She is like a classic synthetic wig that like everybody has. I think I was watching like some famous person singing and one of her background singers had on Valentino. I could tell because this is like one of one. I mean this is a classic style but you can tell Valentino from a mile away. So, <sighs> so I review Valentino June of 2018 and I loved her so much. I had her in FF Golden Brown, but in, 20, in 2019, I purchased her in PB27 
and I adore the PB27. Couple things we need to we need to talk about. So at the top of the year, January, it was my first review back from a break, and I reviewed Kamalia, which is from the Level Level Up collection from Free Tress, where they revamped wigs like Valentino and Valencia. Um, and in that video, I gave Kamala. Yeah, it was it was it was Kamala. I reviewed Kamala and I gave it a 10. And I need to kind of retract my statement because Valentino is still popping and I'm not doing this because I have Valentino on my head. So when I took my boss bait pictures to celebrate uh, three years of entrepreneurship back at the beginning of June, which probably was the, yeah, the beginning of June, I was gonna wear Kamala. Yeah, I, I put it on. I glued it down and everything. And then I was looking in the mirror, I was like, I don't know if I like it like that. So um, I believe I did sell it in my last week sale and I went back and purchased Valentino instead. And I have to say, I like Valentino more than Kamala um, for a couple of reasons. You still get that beautiful look that both Kamala and Valentino have, but Valentino doesn't come with lace to cut, but the trade-off is you do have a thicker line of demarcation, but I know how to get my wigs together. So I cut a V into the lace. I have a video from 2018 where I show how to do that. All you have to do is take some small scissors, cut a very small V at the front of your pardon space so it's not a thick line. And then I added some heat at the top because it was kind of humpy and that's it. And then I put part, I put um, powder in my part in space and came, brought out a little bit of my edges in the front just so it wasn't, you know, too rounded. And then um, I put a little bit of black um, eyeliner around the part in space just to give it some definition. And this is what we have. This is the level of work I would do every day with my wigs. So I know I was going crazy over Kamala in January. But the more you live with stuff, this is why I give you, you know, I come back with, you know, my quarterly favorites and all that kind of stuff. And in this video, I'm telling you, I like Valentino more than Kamala. Even though I was hyping that video, it's Valentino for me. So, um, Valentino is very affordable as well. I think she's like $25 at the most, maybe, maybe $30. And she looks amazing. She's been killing it for the last three or four years, she's, she's it for me. This is easy and instantly, with minimal effort, you're gonna look glam. I mean, I might cut a little bit more of a, a layer in the front, but she is beautiful. And she probably will tangle, but this kind of silky texture is so easy to put the silicone spray the pure silicone spray, the Simply simply Styling Pure Silicone Spray that Is That Your Hair put us on to, this is the texture that it's gonna work really well with because it's more on the silky side, easy to run your hands through, and it's like loose, loose curls. So it's gonna be easy to maintain in my opinion. And this is like a nice everyday length. I'm six feet tall, but this falls on me about 16 inches. It's gorgeous. Still love Valentino. And I know some people are like, what? You said you love Kamala. After living with her more, I like Valentino more. So, and this is more beginner friendly than Kamala was. So you don't have to fool with any lace. You just have to finesse the part in space so it doesn't look wiggy. And for this to be a silkier texture, it's not like hardcore silky. I feel like this is like a, a light, maybe even a light yakky. Cause the luster is amazing. And y'all know I'm recording right in front of a window. So mm, she is still popping. If you are a beginner, this is for sure like a must have in your collection. Still in every color I've tried looks gorgeous. I sold my FF cream and stuff, but this is the one that, that I love. So let's move on to the next one.
guys. So next up we have Model Models Extreme Side Part in the style Rex. And I have her in the number two. So Rex, I'm pretty sure she came out in 2016. And I featured her on my channel in 2018. And I had her in a color, I think it was like an ombre color. What color did I have? Probably OM430P or OM27P. I'll have to look when I insert it in the video. So she still looks good. And she is very similar to um, Valentino in that it does not come with lace to cut. The trade-off is you're gonna have a thick line of demarcation. Um, but I cut a V into this lace and I think I cut it way um, like bigger than the one I did on Valentino. But um, I fixed it with black, with black eyeliner pencil, so it looks fine. It looks really good. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about on an everyday basis. This is gonna take you less than 10 minutes, probably like five minutes to get it together. Especially if you have already put heat and stuff at the top, it's gonna be easy. You just have to make sure you fix up the part. This looks good. This is an everyday wig. This is a perfect work wig. This is for people who want something a little bit longer than a bob. Because this to me is about 14 inches and I'm six feet tall and it's gonna vary depending on how tall you are. I don't have my white chair down here. I just have this stationary chair so it's kind of hard for me to do 360s all the way like I usually do. So this is what this one is looking like here. Ugh hard to do this guys this is gorgeous like these are the wigs i would reach for because they're automatically gonna look natural with a lot less effort i love my synthetic frontals but they are a pain for sure like even if you apply you think you applied it really well sometimes it's still gonna look crazy outside this won't look crazy, especially if you bring out your edges and you know how to fix up the part. This just looks like a wrap, a wrap style. This is so cute, y'all. So cute. And my hair is not, I have two big braids, so I might have some humpy spots, but get this one. Get this one for sure. Which one is my favorite so far? Valentino is my favorite. And I'm loving Rex, like absolutely loving Rex. Like it's a yakky texture, but it's not stiff. A cool to me it has some movement, but it's a bit more stiff of a yakky texture. It's more coarse. This is a light yakky and it still has movement. Like she still has movement, great luster. The cap size is not uncomfortable. Keep in mind, I do have on a wig grip, so it's gonna make everything feel a little bit, you know, more snug, but it's not killing my head. This is a look. Okay, like, this wig is super old. This is like 2016 and she is still giving y'all. Yes, I don't even know which one I'm putting on after I do all these, show you guys all these, but um, she might be the one. I don't have like shedding and, well I have a few strands here and there. I did have to tweeze out the part. So she has her cons, like, you're gonna have a lot of demarcation that you'll have to fix and the parting space is very dense so you'll have to tweeze the parting space if you don't know how to tweeze like a simple part wig what i do is i grab a few strands um at most three or four twirl it around twir i twirl it around my fingers and then i just pull it out and boom it'll open up i can open it up some more but for now i think she looks great
so I am back and this is wig number four. This is the only wig from this video that I have not tried. This is the Free Trust Eco Freedom Part 202 in a color number two. You can wear it as a middle part, a right side part, a left side part. And this one did come with lace. It was like a dark brown lace. I have to double check the date. I think this one came out four years ago. I think it, I have to double check and I'll put it on the screen what year it came out, but I know it's a throwback wig. And this is a simple part, easy wig. I made sure to put some heat on it and I'm wearing it to the side. Um, you can't, like I said, you can wear it as a middle part, but I wanted to wear it to a side, a right side part. This is a silkier texture, but it's like, it has a low luster to it. It doesn't look artificial and synthetic-y. This is a longer wig, but to me, it's not like super thick to where you couldn't wear it during summertime. I feel like I pulled out some of my edges, just like I did with the other wigs to make it look more natural. And I think it looks very pretty. I feel like it's giving, you know, glam on a budget. This is so pretty. The only thing that I'm kind of like, I don't know about, like I can get it to make, I can get it to look like more full when I brush it out, but eventually it just kind of clumps together and looks kind of on the thin side, but I don't feel like it is thin. Very, very pretty y'all. First time trying it, this is the only one that I haven't tried. And I'm just here for how just bringing out your edges a little bit and a little heat at the top and putting powder in your part and then you're done. That's just so convenient. And I'm enjoying, you know, these wigs because of that. Before we get into that one, I do have a little bit of shedding. Um, I think this texture is gonna be easy to use the pure silicone spray too because it's a loose kind of wave. It's not like a super tight curl. So you might get some tangling because this is longer and it's synthetic. Um, but get you some pure silicone spray and you'll be, you'll be fine. part wig this is actually a full cap wig so I did not do like an individual review on this wig I featured it in a lookbook that I did with um natural textured wigs like kinky curly twist out kind of wigs and I sold this wig but then in at the beginning of 2020 is that your hair did a review on this wig and is that your hair is the queen of making like twist out kinky curly wigs look amazing. Like the way she did hers, it looks so natural. And I was like, I need to buy her again because it's a, it's kind of a lot of work to get it to your liking. And now I feel like I got it at a cute spot. It's gonna suit a lot of people, but I can see this is not working for everybody because it's a lot of hair. It's a look, it's a bold look. Um, but I think it's super, super cute and it's super affordable and you don't have to worry about, you know, lace to cut. And if you do suffer from hair loss, your whole, your whole everything is covered. Okay, everything is covered. This is super cute. All right guys, so that was everything I wanted to feature in part two of my throwback synthetic wigs that are beginner friendly. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed part two. If you haven't watched part one, definitely watch that one as well. That will be on the info card for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. Talk to me down below. Tell me some of your favorite throwback wigs. 
did you try any of the wigs that are in this video or are you going to talk to me down below and i thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys